Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to train our arms with a sprinkle of calf training as usual. We are going to start with dynamic stretching just taking 3 to 4 minutes regardless. I usually prefer to do the workouts in the morning so just after I wake up have some food wait for some time go to the gym and since I haven't moved much, I would like to move a little bit dynamically going through the range of motion of all my joints, especially my lower body, because that's what stiffens up mostly. So dynamic stretching is a great way to start my workout, regardless of which body part I'm working on. So starting with the greatest stretch, four to five rotations each side, followed by a oh, deep squat. I sit in a deep squat for at least 10, 15 seconds. There are places where you are suggested even to sit for a longer period of time to improve a lot more hip mobility and an ankle mobility. So you can, I would not recommend it sitting for a long time in a deep squat on leg day because you're stretching the muscles. Static stretching pre-workout is not ideal. Just dynamic stretching is fine. So a little, and yes, the new addition of bird dog pose to improve core stability during the workouts and also since working on improving my core strength overall core strength so this is one addition again four to five repetitions holding for five to ten seconds each side and that's pretty much how i at least start my workouts now you may consider this as a warm-up because while performing all these movements yes definitely the joints get warmed up but i do perform at least two sets of uh, warm up basically of the uh, exercise which I'm going to perform the first exercise so the first exercise which I'm going to perform is barbell tricep extension four sets 20 repetitions with 60 seconds break in between as you can see I always take my arms all the way back keep the barbell behind my head this way I can get a good long stretch on my tricep and then my tricep has to work or contract when it is lengthened as I mean this I have been doing this for quite some time now and it is amazing the more you load the more repetitions you try to achieve the more closer to the failure you want to get it uh, the better growth you'll get the positioning of your arms on the barbell is your choice try a couple of times see where it feels right where you're able to contract your tricep to the maximum as you can see here in the video how my tricep contracts as they raise the bubble up uh, and also if you have easy bar you can use that if you don't have it a regular bubble also should be fine maybe slightly stressful on the wrist but it doesn't really matter if the weight isn't extremely heavy you should be fine but yes focus is on the tricep uh, extension now post completing that we can immediately switch into high cable curls now we don't need to take much of a break because we are working with two different muscles so a short break is fine unless until you are extremely out of breath which you shouldn't be because tricep extensions are not cardiovascularly quite demanding it's not a compound movement kind of but kind of an isolation more of an isolation movement so you shouldn't be out of breath so you can quickly switch on to this particular exercise again simple stuff I have been doing it for quite some time amazing results training your bicep in the lengthened position holding the cable at a high position and then curling from there make sure you're looking away from the cable so that you get a good amount of stretch even at your chest and your shoulder so that way your bicep is completely extended while it has to contract now you can do the 20 repetitions without taking a break from one arm to the other as long as you can do it. If not, you can take 45 to 60 seconds break in between the sets. If the weight is heavier, of course, you'll get fatigue very quickly. So train accordingly. The rest is never strictly uh, time based. Take it as you require. Post completing that, I immediately jumped onto the leg press machine to do some calf races, three sets as many repetitions as possible now the breaks i try to keep as minimum as possible in calves because i want to overload them as much as possible so yeah i mean you don't have to do calf races on the leg press machine like i am doing you can do 
standing calf raises you can do seated calf raises you can do donkey calf raises so there are multiple options for you to do single leg calf raises calf presses whatever if you have a different leg press uh, leg press the incline one you can use that too uh, it's and also you can skip forgot to tell you that you can skip this exercise if you do have amazing calves and you don't think that you need to train them much more i do so i'm going to train them as regularly as possible but if you don't have to you can definitely skip this exercise maybe add something else which you want to work on maybe a little bit of core training that's up to you next we move on to uh, shorter training so simple tricep push downs with a straight bar uh, the reason why i'm not using rope is to just create a little bit of variety uh, till now i have been using rope and it happens over a period of time you get uh, I, I don't know what to not it's not bored of the exercise it's just that you ha you are unable to respond to it as you like anymore because you have trained so much in that particular manner so slightly changing it might help and this definitely helped me and as you can see every time i let the bar go completely up full stretch on the tricep elbows completely folded touching my bicep and from there i push down get maximum contraction out of my tricep muscle heavy weight slow repetitions closer to failure full range of motion these are all the cue points for great hypertrophy and muscle mass increase i i like to bend slightly forward when i'm using a bar because that will give me a little bit more space to press down if i'm standing straight i will hit my legs pretty soon before i can get maximum amount of contraction that's the only reason why i lean a little bit forward no other reason now the last exercise which we are going to do to finish off our biceps is any one i haven't done this as of now at least in my transformation videos is spider curls pretty simple exercise take an incline bench lie on your stomach take a barbell easy bar straight bar dumbbells i don't know i like to use a bar because it keeps my uh, path a little bit more strict and as you can see pretty simple exercise you start curling in that position arms completely extended and i mean the video is a result the amount of blood i was able to push into my biceps my triceps were already pretty much pumped so great way to end your arm workout a lot of work is being also done by the forearms because i'm gripping the bar tightly not letting the bar loose or fall off you can use straps if you want to push heavier weights i try to control the repetitions as much as possible especially the lowering part the eccentric part so yes pretty simple we are done that's about it so if you do if you did not do the calf exercise you can do some other core training whichever you prefer to but otherwise yes pretty simple arm training day we are going to finish off with a simple vertical hang stretch ourselves out and also train a little bit of forearm endurance training that's it so yeah thank you so much for watching the video i hope you liked the workout and you enjoyed it if you did like the workout please do drop a like and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do subscribe any feedback in the comment section is greatly appreciated you may perform any other kind of static stretches which you want to for your bicep and tricep i have done that multiple times in my previous videos so you may do that i just prefer to hang and let myself lose to cool down so yes hope that was pretty easy and not very complicated workout routine for your arms thank you once again i'll see you in the next video till then take care